How's it going everyone? Welcome back Everyday Organics here. If this is your first time, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. If you're coming back because you're following us, thank you. Keep leaving your comments and your likes, dislikes, let us know what y'all want to see. Today I just wanted to go over our system and sort of why we chose what we did, um, especially being new to aquaponics. Uh, follow a couple groups on Facebook, some other sites, and see questions asked all the time, how do I get started in aquaponics? So, wanted to run through that. It's really pretty simple process if you really just boil it down to the nuts and bolts. Um, but let's go ahead and start with just a simple setup. What we did on our first one, of course it's now into our entire system so it's a little bit different but I can show you on one of our flood tables what that system would entail so that you can know for doing it yourself if you have any questions or comments leave them below hit that subscribe button but let's jump right into it so aquaponics it's using fish to nut give nutrients to the plants plants give nutrients to the fish keeps the water clean and really you're recycling the water so it's good for the environment you do feed the fish fish food but it's pretty minimal when you think about an actual garden and what that entails with pulling weeds roots fighting for the nutrients in the soil so with aquaponics you don't have any of that no weeds no fighting over I can set a plant two inches away from the other one and it's still getting the same amount of water source so it's not fighting for it and that's one of the reasons that we chose that so let's jump into it let's look at a deep table so we've got four by deep table I'll back away a little bit so that you can see it but each of these are four by four so this particular one is a deep flood table so it is a hundred gallon table now, obviously, once you put your media in there, 100 gallons of water is not going to go into it. However, throughout the process, it does because you're hitting your overflow and creating a loop of that water coming in and out of the tank where your fish are located. Now, to get started, you're not going to put fish in it. The best advice I think we got was start putting plants in there, add some nutrients, which we did. We added the the nutrients to the water to feed the plants once our pH level is at where it needs to be then we'll introduce some fish now from that point we will put a certain number of fish in the system and then from there as long as they all survive for a couple weeks our system is balanced the way it needs to be so that's a good indicator of what you need to do once you get the system set up. So, what does it take to set up a system? Well, so obviously you have to have a water source. It can be anything from a, depending on the size of the table you're gonna do. But we wanted double the amount of gallons for our table. So we're running three tables together at 300 gallons. So we've got 650 gallon tanks. We're actually a little over, but our pumps pump enough water through it to cycle all the way through in our allotted time that we put. Now most of the time it's 15 minutes on, 15 off or 45 off once an hour. We have ours running for 30 minutes mainly because our pumps are slight, slightly too small. I was running at 16 and a half, 17 minutes to hit my overflow which is about two inches below the top layer here. So you've got an overflow, which has a couple small drill holes at the very base of it where it goes into the drain so that water is overflowing at a decent rate. It also will drain once your system cycles through that 15 minutes. You obviously have to have water coming in, and it's hard to see down there, but my nozzle is coming up from the bottom. Try 
travels on the smaller pipe into our water where our pump is. And as you can see, I've got my drain line running up and it runs to all of our tanks, which is that overflow that I showed you. So, very simple setup. Now, having set this one up and the amount of work that I put into it, I will tell you that I will do it different when we expand. I will only have the overflow and the drain tied into the actual tables. I will run it with the water into the system from the top and I'll show you that because I did it on our shallow tables. But in essence that is the entire system. Now you don't have to have dirt. We have a mixture of this expanded clay and we also have lava rock about three quarters of the way up and then filled it with the clay. Now you don't have to do that because the clay is very expensive but because we're transplanting some of these plants into pots for sale we wanted stuff that we could put our hands in easily when there's moisture in it when there's water sitting during the rotation it's easy to get your hands in and out the lava rock was not it destroyed my hands and so we went for spending the extra money up front but the expanded clay will last a lifetime if you take care of it. So, as you can see, walking over here towards our shallow, and you can see the difference of how I ran the water to dump from the above. And we just got it mounted here. But this allows me to easily move it if I have to. I can undo my drain lines, which you see going in to the bulkhead there. And with this, we have constant rotation because of how the water is draining into it. So it circulates the entire pond, which pulls up those nutrients that the fish are essentially pooping out. It's picking up the nutrients and moving it around. We also have a pump and of course you can't see it because our nutrients are in here to our fish but we have a pump that circulates water and acts as a bubbler and we also have an air bubbler that runs all of our ponds so you can see it and I'll actually show you in here there puts the flow through the water we've got the bubblers also have the waterfall there so that one will turn into essentially a pool because the wife wants the kids to be able to enjoy it out here as much as we do. Now, with all that in mind, you can use pretty much anything as long as you double your water amount, get your pH levels right, and are able to circulate that water now with the pump size you want to make sure that your pump can pump that amount of gallons that you're or in your entire tank in that 15 minute span like i said ours fall a little bit short by about a minute minute and a half but we're running them 30 on 30 off it drains in that amount of time it has a chance to dry out pull all that nutrients to the bottom and circulate through the plants. So that's essentially aquaponics in a nutshell. Now, you can get very much more into it. There's different ways of doing it. People will have a filter system, which we may have to add at some point, but I've created our system to where if I need to do a filter system, I can do that quite easily. I've got a spot for it already. Our pumps will pump to it, filter through. But for the size of our system, the amount of fish that we're gonna have, I don't know that it's gonna be 100% necessary. So if you have any questions, hit us up. Let us know what you think. 
Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, dislike button. Let us know, and we'll see you soon.